Do you have difficulty keeping yourself on a high positive vibration? Are you stuck in a low vibration and finding yourself feeling tired, hopeless, and unhappy? Are you unsure of how to raise and maintain your vibration? In this video, we'll explore just that. How to raise and maintain your positive vibration by avoiding these common vibrational blocks. I'm Jacob James, and this is Project Prospero. If you want to change your experience, you must change your vibration. Your vibration creates your pattern of thought, emotional state, and resulting actions. If you're depressed, exhausted, and procrastinating, then your vibration is low. If you're peaceful, joyous, and energetic, and accomplishing your goals, your vibration is high. Everything is energy. This chair, the computer or phone that you're watching this on, are illusions. They seem to be solid, but they're actually made up of tiny particles of energy, which are vibrating in a certain way to create the appearance and the sensation of a solid object. Is there any way to direct and manipulate this energy, which not only makes up what we are, but fills the seemingly empty space between us? Yes, absolutely. In a study by Alexander Graham Bell and Dr. Elmer R. Gates, they concluded that every human brain is both a broadcasting and a receiving station for the vibration of thought. Every brain is capable of sending out and picking up other vibrations from other brains. Just like I can text you on my phone and send it through the ether to your phone. Just like radio or any other wireless communication. Our thoughts and our emotions are vibrating on specific frequencies that are creating our reality and are attracting people and circumstances that vibrate on a similar frequency. So, here are some of the blocks that stop us from raising our vibration to a high and positive frequency. First, stop being a victim and forgive the person who hurt you. Allowing yourself to exist in a state of being a victim actually empowers the person who hurt you and continues to imprison you in a state of shame, guilt, apathy, grief, and fear. We're looking to a source outside ourselves to heal us rather than looking for it on the inside. By holding on to negative emotions, we're making an agreement with ourselves to keep them alive and strong within us. To forgive, let go, and move on towards a higher vibration, we need to understand and accept that the person who hurt us is existing on a lower vibration. We need to understand their perspective and their circumstances that led them to make the decision that hurt you. When we do that, we can see that their actions are a reflection of their own limitations and the unhealed trauma that they're still suffering from. We must eventually be able to resolve that that person has their path and you have yours and view that person as someone who needs help. We need to send them love and positivity rather than blame and power. Chances are you're spending a lot more time and energy focusing on the hurt than they are. So why take up that space and energy within yourself when they're not even thinking about it? Seek first to understand rather than being understood. And also, look at the incident that hurt you and determine how you actually benefited from it. A second block you may encounter in trying to raise your vibration to a positive state is not being conscious of your own thoughts and feelings. Your thoughts and feelings determine your state of being and your reality. So start becoming keenly aware of what thoughts you're allowing to take up space in your mind. The next time a negative thought pops into your mind, observe it. Determine if it's negative or positive, if it's actually true, and if it benefits you or hinders you. If it's a negative thought, for example, I am not worthy of love, then replace it with the opposite. I am worthy of love. You can meditate or use affirmations to reinforce this new positive thought until it becomes a belief and you completely eliminate that old negative belief. A third method of protecting yourself from negative vibrational blocks is actively practicing love and kindness. 
When you go to get a coffee, ask the person how they're doing. See them smile and appreciate your thoughtfulness. And as you watch their vibration rise, feel your own vibration rise. Or think of, say, three people in your life that bother, annoy, and frustrate you, and send them love. Some other ways to shift up your vibration when you feel it getting low are to listen to music that makes you happy or music that you love. Smile at a stranger on the street. Take a walk in nature. Declutter your space. Eat nutritious foods. Drink water. Do yoga. Or find something to laugh about. In conclusion, consciously allow the space in your mind to be filled with positivity, action that furthers your desires, thoughts and feelings that make you happy. Always be sending love to those around you despite what you may be receiving from them. And make your intentions positive. If you find you're in a negative emotional place, that's a direct reflection of where your vibration is at. So employ these methods of pulling yourself out of that downward spiral and make yourself feel good. I hope you got something out of today's video. I'd really like to thank everybody who's joined the Project Prospero family. I can't tell you how much it means to me that so many of you out there are actually interested in these ideas. And thank you for letting me know in the comments that I'm actually making a difference. Please use the comment section below and let me know some stories of how you like to raise your vibration and any other blocks that I might have missed. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell and like this video. It keeps me going. I believe it's no coincidence that we found each other. This is Jacob James sending you love and light. Namaste and good luck.